Hello, Internet. This is Sam Messman from We Make Movies here. And just a quick uh, ethics statement here, which is that while I wasn't paid by Noise Industries to do this, I did receive a few plug-in packages uh, that they licensed to me for this. Um, however, uh, basically anything that I cover in here, I use on my personal projects and on my clients' projects, and I have absolutely no problem fully endorsing all of the plugins that I've included here. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is go to the Noise Industry website, which is noiseindustries.com slash fxfactory. Uh, what you want to do is click on the Download FX Factory button from the main page there, and it's going to download the software, and then uh, once it's done downloading, you're going to want to open it up. And as you can see, some are highlighted and some are grayed out. And if they're grayed out, it means that they're not currently installed and won't show up in Final Cut. When we go into the preferences, we'll go a little deeper into that. So you can see there's little uh, check mark boxes next to them. These are the ones that I have installed personally. And uh, these are the ones that I use and show up in Final Cut. And all you need to do to enable them is click the checkbox and they'll come into Final Cut. Also, when you go into rendering, um, you want to check your limit resolution size. I leave mine at 8K because I do a lot of red work and if I don't have it set there, it's hard for me to work with epic footage. But you can basically render at any resolution. That setting's basically there to protect slower computers, so if you have a slower machine, you may want to set it a little bit lower. Um, Anyway, let's go ahead, enough of all this, let's get into Final Cut and go ahead and get started. So what I'll be showing you here is the Tokyo Split Animator. And honestly, thank God this thing exists. Uh, it's made me sigh a whole lot less when a client asks for split screen in a project. Uh, it's kind of incredibly easy to use and the cool thing is they've done a lot of the math for you when it comes to split screen. Um, so taking a look at some of this stuff, I'm just kind of hovering over the thumbnails and uh, it's broken down into five or six sections and uh, the A sections give you a full frame split screen image. The B sections give you two thirds frame. The C's give you half size images. The D's one third. And then E and F gives you a diagonal or triangle or this weird shape at the very bottom there. And basically using simple math, you can decide how you want to lay out beforehand your split screen animations. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you through setting up what would normally be a really complicated uh, split screen effect using just a few of these. And I'm not going to even use a single keyframe and I'll have a fully animated split screen effect when I'm done that will have literally taken me a fraction of the time that it normally would have taken to do this in Final Cut 7 or using the regular Final Cut 10 keyframes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going through each of these four clips and I'm dragging over uh, the split screen effect that I want to place on each one and I'm using the half size frames because it's a little easier for this example. Um, and I'm using a combination of uh, C1 and C3 plugins and basically as you can see up there one is two-thirds the size of half the frame and one is one-third and now I'm gonna animate these so on the first one and you can tell which one it is because it has the on-screen controls light up in the top third I'm gonna go into my inspector and I'm going to adjust the final position of where I want it to land I'm gonna just want it to land on the bottom left there and then because uh, there's three people in the shot, but when I move the outer ring there, the scale gives me unwanted black bars. I'm going to crop this down to a two shot. And now because they're looking over to their left, I'm going to want to move this to the other side of the frame. So I'm going to drag the X position slider and actually I'm going to move it back up to the top. So now they are looking at that group of individuals over there. And now at the second clip, I'm going to move this over to the right and down. 
So I'm going to drag over the X animation slider, and then I'm going to drag over the Y animation slider, and that's going to put it in the bottom corner of the frame. Now I'm going to adjust the on-screen controls and center the shot a little bit better using the anchor point in the middle there. And these on-screen controls make it extremely easy to to modify the picture in picture within a split screen and it just in general makes your life so much easier. With this third clip I'm going to move it down and now I have all four of my clips positioned but if I look at this top one there her head seems a little bit cut off so let me go in and just quickly move that shot within its frame down a little bit and there we go, there's a little black space to the top now, and we are done, we are ready. So let's see how this animates on. So animating it on, it all kind of comes in from the left. This seems a little bit weird, and um, it's going to animate back off to the left. Um, this, I think we can make this a little bit more interesting. So how do we do this? Well, we don't even need to keyframe. All we need to do is go back, and in the inspector, change the arrive and depart directions. So let's see how the bottom right hand group shot is animating on. When we go into the inspector it says it's arriving from the left. We're gonna leave that alone but the shot next to it we're gonna switch over from the left to from right. So it's gonna animate on from the right and now with the upper left hand shot we're going to change its arrive direction to from the right and we're going to change its depart direction to the bottom and um, with the last clip or with the bottom left hand clip we're going to change its depart direction to the left and finally we're going to go over to the bottom right hand shot and we're going to change its depart direction to the top now with the upper right hand shot its departure direction is to the left and we're going to leave that alone for the time being and we should basically have our animation all set. I'm going to render it real quick. Now there are additional parameters that I'm not going to cover here. For example you can grow and shrink some of um, these. You can. There's basically all kinds of sliders you can play with but now that this is about done rendering as you can see, we've made a complex split screen animation that animates on and animates off using no keyframes. And we did it literally in real time with a fraction of the time that it would normally take uh, without having access to these plugins. So I'm playing down some other sections that I did. Actually, this is for a short film that I worked on. This is a bit of a montage. and. Um, Pretty much, as you can see, <laughs> this would have taken forever. This literally, this split screen stuff took me about 15, 20 minutes with the Tokyo Split Animator. And you can get more advanced with some of the stuff by using compound clips and keyframing the position parameters of some of your split screen clips. So this is a sample generator that comes with Final Cut, and I've done kind of a fake talk show mock-up with uh, some green screen footage that I turned into compound clips and then placed some of the split screen animators on and pretty much um, split screen is no longer a headache so I think the value of this plugin at this point basically speaks for itself and if you watch this and it all went totally over your head or you just don't feel like doing it well this is what I do for a living so feel free to hire me either to consult on your movie or to finish your film for you if that's what you need so, if you want to get in touch, just drop me an email over at sam at wemakemovies.org. And lastly, if you're wondering what this whole We Make Movies thing is, check us out over at wemakemovies.org. Or if you live in L.A. or Toronto, sign up for our newsletter and then come to one of our events. I'll see you guys next time. And cut!